When I was 41, I had a clear mammogram. About nine months later, I opted to have a Sonosini automated whole breast ultrasound because I knew I had dense breast tissue. What a shock when I found out that I had a 1.8 centimeter invasive breast cancer in my left breast. Again, that same time, I had another mammogram and it did not show that I had breast cancer. It was clear. The reason why it is so important to have a Sonosine is to detect the breast cancers in dense tissue that you can't see through a mammography. I survived my breast cancer because I had this test. Studies show that mammography misses over 50% of breast cancers in women with dense breast tissue, DBT. I was 42 and just had my second mammogram and had gotten my second happy gram letter telling me that my results were negative and come back next year. But then six months later, an ultrasound detected an invasive 1.7 centimeter breast cancer. Why? Because I have dense breast tissue and mammography is not enough of an examination to see through my tissue type. Now I will continue to have a mammogram because I know it can find some cancers that ultrasound can't see. But I will always have an ultrasound along with that mammogram because I know it can find those fast growing cancers that mammography can't see. Over 40% of all women in the U.S. have dense breast tissue. 70% of all breast cancer occurs in women with DBT. My mom had a clean mammogram when six months later she was diagnosed with end stage cancer. She had four tumors in her left breast, one in her neck, and of 54 lymph nodes taken out, 38 were cancerous. It's impossible for cancer to spread that quickly. My mom had breast cancer undetected in her annual mammograms for years. She didn't die of breast cancer. She died because she had dense breasts. Well, we've known for a long time that it was more difficult to detect small cancers in women with dense breasts by using mammogram alone. However, we do not do so well on trying to pick up very small non-calcified cancers in the really dense breast tissue. That's where the screening breast ultrasound Sonosine technology assists us in combination with the mammogram to give it our best shot to try to detect the very small non-calcified cancers. I think the screening breast ultrasound also is really helpful for women with implants because we can see out to the margins of the implants and uh, around the area of the scar and the, the breast tissue covering the implant. So more and more women are becoming aware that that's a very helpful adjunctive procedure to a mammogram to try to detect the early small cancers in the dense breast. At age eight and six, my kids were old enough to understand my mom died of breast cancer but not old enough to understand that I'm not going to die of breast cancer, at least hopefully not anytime soon. I too have dense breast tissue, along with monthly self breast exams and an annual mammogram coupled with Sonosini Abbas. I really believe I'm doing all I can to stay on top of my breast health. So the next time my kids say, mom, do you have breast cancer? I can honestly look them in the eye and say no. Ask your doctor to inform you of your breast density if you do have DBT, ask to have a Sonosini Abbas in addition to your yearly mammogram. If you do have breast cancer, wouldn't you want to find it early when it's small and easier to treat? Sonosini Abbas in addition to your mammogram and peace of mind beyond it.